Yo, what's good you guys? We are now on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And if you can, take a quick second and hit that like button. It definitely helps out a lot. I appreciate you guys and enjoy the video. Love y'all. Yo, what's good you guys? It's your boy Jeff back at it again with my guy James. Hey. As you guys can see in the title, today we're going to be trying the entire menu from Panda Express. My man want to try it out, so we got the whole menu. I know you're, you're starving. Right? I haven't had Panda in nine years. I did the math earlier today. You know, before we get into this qualifier, I think the Panda's been sitting here for a little bit. It's been a little aged, a little cold, but... We're gonna try not to hold that against them. Yeah, it's, it's still it's still a little warm. We got 11 items for you guys today. Um, basically everything I can get off DoorDash. But other than that, what we're gonna be doing today is gonna give it a rating, but also we're gonna ask a question in between every single meal. Ooh. So you're gonna get a rating and a question, and it's gonna be a would you rather. So we got we got some good would you rather's coming up today. Right, condiment, 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 you know me. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh yeah, there's no way you're not gonna love this. Orange chicken. The best, one of the best things from Panda. I don't oh. like orange chicken normally. You what? But I haven't had it in a while because I don't like it. So like, this is me trying it know. again. If you need some rice, we got a whole big jar. <coughs> you what? I'm excited. Go ahead, go dive in first. Oh wait, you don't want me to wait? No, go okay. ahead. All right, I can tell that when this was fresh, it definitely had a nice crispier outside. So I gotta acknowledge that. Texturally, this is actually really good. I like the texture a lot. For me, I don't know. I just don't like the, the seasoning on the orange chicken. I don't know what it is. I never had it. It's too like sweet almost. I like savory meat. It's hard to rate because as I said, I think the, the cooking of the chicken, the texture of the fry, pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't like orange chicken flavor, so it's almost unfair for me to rate it. You okay, know? you don't want to rate it? You don't have to. I don't want to rate it because I feel like, because I don't like the, the sauce, it's like, there's nothing they could have done to get a high rating from me. Yeah, that makes just sense. because you don't like it. Yeah. You're also hungry. I'll give it a six. Six. <laughs> this is a 10 for me. No, no doubt. 10. If I go to any Asian food spot, orange chicken is always a go-to. That thing is bangs and Pan Express, <clears throat> even though it's not real Asian, it's different for me. With that, we're gonna go into our first would you rather. Would you rather go to the past and meet your ancestors or go to the future and meet your great great grandchildren? How far in the how far into each? Alright, so let's say two generations up and two generations down. Two generations? Two generations. So the, the generation that you haven't met. I'll go with the future. The future. Your yeah. great grandkids. Yeah. Okay. Well, why is that just I feel like my great grandparents and I wouldn't get along because they're from a different time. Okay. I feel like my great grandkids for me would just be a learning experience. Yeah. It'd so, be kind of cool to yeah. see how they turn out and stuff, right? Thanks. We're going to jump over into, I think this is teriyaki chicken. Ooh. This reminds me of pickup sticks chicken. That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Looks. This is a health, one of the healthier options. I guess I'm going to give that a seven. I actually don't like it texturally as much. Mm -hmm. A little bit tougher, a little bit more chewy, like not in the best way, but. Sauce is pretty mild too, but I feel like it's like a nice, pleasant surprise. Would you rather, this is this is an interesting one, would you rather have more time or more money? Dude, honestly time. Time? Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't have enough time in the day. I hate, I hate sleeping. I actually hate going to sleep. I feel like sleeping is the biggest waste. I know how good it is for your body. I know all the benefits. I'm saying I wish I lived in a world where that, what, that wasn't the case. You hate sleeping? Yeah. You don't enjoy a well-rested night. No. It's like I'd write, dude. That's that's eight hours I could be doing something. Okay, like, let me oh. let me rephrase that. So maybe not more time in the day, but let's say instead of 100 years, you live to 150, or you could still. No, in say, that case, I would take the money. Money. Uh, I take time to be honest. I feel like you could make well, more money. There's no way time. you would ever take time, and if that's the case, because Why, you tell. would be miserable living 100 to 150. Your body would be in such horrible shape. You'd be so, decomposed. Like, it, it, living past 100 is not a happy life, bro. Oh, because you're talking about the pain. Now. The pain, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's, let's say you got $100 million. What would you do with it? Like, um, like all that money. Like, what would you buy first? I, I want to hear this. A house. Okay, how much? Like, what, what, what? Probably like a 10 mil house, 8 10 mil. 10 mil house, okay. And then? Then a car. What car? Porsche 911 Turbo <laughs> S. And the rest, I'm guessing, goes to... Well, you, you'll, you'll probably find out. Vacation. Vacation. Yeah. All right, next we got black pepper chicken. Looks like it's black pepper with like a good amount of sauce in there. They have some onions 
and some type of vegetable, a like green vegetable. And this looks delicious. Dude, so. I gotta say, Panda has, has actually been a pleasant surprise so far. Now, I actually expected Panda to surprise me, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But, you know, I thought the, the gap between pickup sticks and Panda would be a little bit bigger. And today I'm finding maybe it's not so big. Oh, yeah. There's the best chicken we've had so far. Kind of tough to eat. The mm. onion also could have been cooked a little bit more, but the chicken is really nice. Now, this is hard to rate, because the chicken itself I actually like better than the, the previous two chicken. But... You gotta rate it as a whole. As a whole, man, I'd probably still get this over the other two, even though I don't really like how, how tough the vegetables are. I'm gonna give this a 7.75. 7.75. I'm giving yeah. it a little bit above the other one, because I'd rather get this one, but I do gotta, I gotta put them down for not cooking the vegetables enough. Do you think, there was a lot of vegetables, do you think they saved money by having less chicken and more veggies in that? Like, because it took out the majority of the boss. Not sure. Not sure. All right. Yeah, I'd give that a solid eight. I, I like that. We got the next would you rather. Would you rather be able to talk to animals or speak a foreign language? Uh, honestly, I'd rather speak a foreign language. Which which language would that be? Mm, probably probably German. In German. Ooh. Jay, do you know what this is? Weird looking. <laughs> this is Kung Pao chicken. Oh, okay. Kung Pao chicken, if you guys don't know, it's chicken. It looks like it has some bell peppers in it, peanuts. It's, it's, a, it's a classic, it's a classic uh, dish. I don't think I've ever had Kung Pao chicken before. Probably because I never ordered it because it has peanuts in it. I always thought it was weird to put peanuts in a dish like this, and I don't know how much I do like it in this dish, to be honest, but everything else about this I actually really like. I like that, wow. What did you eat that one? Yeah, I'm gonna give that one. I think I'd still get the black pepper chicken over that. Yeah, this has got to be a 7.5. 7.5. If it had no peanuts, I'd actually probably tie them, maybe put it ahead. But because you can't sub the peanuts out, I, I think I agree with James on that. 7.5 7 is good for me. Like I like it, but from Panda Express, it's not kicking right now. It's probably because it's a little, a little cold. Would you rather lose your vision or lose your hearing? Hearing. Mm. I know it's fine. I wish. What do you know? Peace out. My name is James. Okay, I, I probably definitely lose my hearing too. Oh, this is the Angus beef. This is their version. This is, this is more of a premium. They charge a little extra. This and walnut shrimp. We couldn't get walnut shrimp. Bro, this is like the third time my entire life I've had panda. Huh? This is gonna be spicy. This looks like it's gonna be spicy. I don't know. I never tried. This looks a lot like boluk which is like a Vietnamese dish too. Oh no. You don't like that? Dude, the beef is not there. tender. I don't think beef should chew like that, I'll be honest. Um, the thing with it, like Asian foods, like Chinese food, bro, is it's so, it's so hard for it to be bad because the sauces are so fire. Yeah. Even when it's like not that good texturally, like this beef, but... Um, I don't know what to rate this. What do you rate this? I'm gonna have to really dig in this. I'm gonna have to do this surprisingly and like 8.5, almost a 9. Well, the other way, I'm gonna give this a 6.5. Oh, this is the worst one yet? Yeah, I don't think steak could have that texture. For your birthday, would you rather receive cash or gifts? I guess cash. Yeah. Right, here's my thing, people get me clothing items a lot. I already have way too many clothes. If it's a shirt I don't wear, then I feel guilty. Yeah. So I'd rather just get cash, like just get myself what I want. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It's one of those things where you, everybody I feel like would want cash, but to be polite, they say like presents or like nice. It's like think about how many gifts everyone watching that you've gotten over the years like you don't you don't use. Oh, yeah, like yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, like, and you just gotta be appreciative. Well, you know what? Actually, my least favorite expression of all time is. What? You know, you know how you know you're about to get an absolutely terrible gift mm. is if the gift giver says it's the thought that counts. There is like a hundred percent chance the gift is gonna be <laughs> trash. Bro, it's I, gonna mean I, they put zero thought into the yeah. actual gift. I'm sorry. Every time I've heard that expression, it's the worst gift. But it is the thought that counts sometimes. For example, I won't name who. Told them I use Spotify at the time. Tried to set them up with Spotify. You know, this is a multi-time thing. Known that I'm a Spotify user, get an iTunes gift card from them. It's the thought that counts. Well, you put no goddamn thought into the gift. If you got me an iTunes gift card. I said I use Spotify. I tried to get that person. I think I did get that person on Spotify. I was the one who made them switch music services. Uh, and you get me an iTunes gift card, like, I'm sorry if that makes me an asshole, but you didn't put any thought into it, so don't ever say it's the thought that counts, because the only 
The only thought that counted was the lack of. <laughs> Bro, y'all just, if y'all don't want me to tell the truth. No, we, we want to hear the truth. I, I, res I respect James's honesty. So next we got James highly requested. I had to get this. And it's also a staple dish for the, the you know, the Asian when you always get food. Fried rice is always a go-to. Yeet. <laughs> See, what do we got in here? We got a little noodle in here. I don't know what you're doing in here, bud. Two noodles. Mmm. Bro, I'm not really feeling the fried rice, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's, it's not that much flavor, I gotta say. It's pretty bland. It is very bland. Like, I'm not even capping on this one. It, it I is. feel like pickup sticks fried rice also falls kind of short, to be honest. Yeah, for fried rice, man, it's hard to give fried rice a low rating, because even bad fried rice is pretty good. Yeah. So with that in mind, if I give this a four, it doesn't mean I think it's absolute shit because obviously I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna eat all of this. But on a fried <laughs> rice scale, this, this does scale pretty low to the bottom. General scale, I'm gonna give this like a, a seven. On a, a fried rice scale, I'm gonna give this like a two. A two, I, I'm agree. If that makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. fried rice is like fire, regardless. Yeah. I gotta get, take you to authentic. I can't wait till we can travel so I can start taking you to like authentic. Some, what, Vietnamese places? Vietnamese spots, you know, even Chinese, some dope. We need to get an episode, because James, James raves about how he could eat so many all you could eat sushi pieces, but I am not convinced yet. So one of these days, I think hey, we're gonna definitely go to all you can eat. I'll bet you. No, I'll bet hey, you. Let's do it. I'll bet you the bill. Alright. Well, but I don't want you to kill yourself. <laughs> I won't need to. Would you rather say everything that's on your mind, no matter if it's good or bad, or don't speak like anything that's triggering, like regular conversation, like oh, your, like just boring as conversation. But within your family, you could do it. But with outside people, you you know. I'm letting you like. I'm have... confused. What are my options? So, so either I say always what I'm thinking. Yeah, or... like no matter what it is, mm -hmm. or just basic conversational. Like you can't go out of the box. Like, oh, how's your day? Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I, I, and I'll say for a year. I'm gonna add that in. So it's not for the rest of your life. It's just for a year. Dude. <laughs> well, obviously, we 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 heard, we heard a story today for me where obviously in that moment where I got that gift card, if I spoke my mind, uh huh, you would have lost. Which that. I didn't. Yeah, I would have been. I would have been a supreme douche. So I'm gonna go with the 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 lad, the former, okay. or whatever, the latter. Also, same family member <clears throat> got me a Raiders jersey once. I'm a Giants fan. That was a that was a good one. How close are you with this family member? Immediate like, family member. I know. Like, is this Jesse? <laughs> no. <laughs> So I had to get a healthy option. Um, rarely get this. It's just it's called a super vegetable, right? So it's steamed vegetables, and they definitely put some type of like seasoning in it. We do need some greens. This looks like things that should go in a soup. This this does look kind of like mushy, and it looks very like. But it's not. The thing about Asian, especially Chinese, like garnishes like this, it's very flavorful. It makes like vegetables like not like bomb, but it's definitely edible. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm gonna say there actually is a nice kind of salty flavor. Yeah, to them. see? You know, this is the type of thing I don't think I'd ever order if I went to a place like Panda. But if I was at like a like a sit down Chinese restaurant and this was like one of the things they had because it's probably family style, mm -hmm. I would I would put some of this on my plate. I really don't know how to rate this because I would never get it, but I don't hate it. I like don't I actually kinda like it. Alright, if five is average, uh -huh. I'm assuming there's a bit there's a better version of this where the vegetables are cooked a little bit longer and broken down a little bit more. So I'm gonna give this like a Four. We're just going grain to feel like seven is average, but in this scale, five is average, and doing just one one rung below average is still, I'll eat it. I'm gonna give this a six. And my critique on food isn't very, like, harsh. If it looks cooked, I know it's safe, it has some flavor, it's above, above average for me. When you are old, would you want to pass away before your spouse or after your spouse? Um. Put the beer on, <laughs> I don't know, dude. For me, I'm one of those people who I'm just like, bro, I, I can't imagine I'll be very happy after I'm like 80 years old. Maybe, maybe it's not even 80. Maybe it's in like like whatever track. Would you No, I like, know. I don't know when they're going to die, so. Would you be like happy living like without them? Like, or like. I feel like, obviously, <clears throat> you know, if I'm married to, let's say, Amy at that point, and I'm like 76 years old and she died. Uh huh. I don't know how that would be compared to like breaking up with somebody. Obviously when you break up with someone, maybe you're upset for a week, a month, six months, two years, but eventually you get over it. I think when you're with someone for like that long, you can't really you ever get over it, but you kind of come to accept it. You know, I feel like I'm making some good investments, so I'm gonna live a good life when I'm 80, even though I feel like my body's gonna hurt all the time because uh -huh. of my dietary choices, so. Yeah. I, I guess after. Uh, I 
that's a tough one to me. Like, yeah, what would you pick? So, so I got two two things. If I knew that we're gonna die at a young age, I would choose before because I would want her to experience life and live life. But if I knew we're living old, I would die after because I wouldn't want her to to like. Be traumatized of not having to get other. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends. Like that's the factor. So either way, it's more of like for me, it's just more about her than uh, I can care less. Like. Yeah, it's a tough yeah, one. Yeah, tough one. This is a staple. Um, you haven't had chow mein from here before, right? I might have. Might have. It looks very flavorful, but from my experience, it's not that top tier. Oh no. It's yeah, it's not flavorful. Bro, this was like mm. oddly sweet. Man, that was disappointing. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the most just well let me let me let me spice it up with some soy. The yeah, problem is awesome. this is like a sweet chow mein. Yeah, let me give that a three. A three. Alright. Dude, this might be the worst chow mein I've ever had in my life. I agree. Would you rather have a cook or a maid? Uh, does the cook wash his own dishes? That's literally gonna decide my decision. I believe they do, yes. I, I believe they will. Right, I'll go with the chef then. The chef. Okay. Yeah. Same, same, same. We're gonna jump over to the mighty fine. It's called a I think it's a chicken egg roll. I don't know if I've ever had one of these types of things with uh, anything other than vegetables in it or egg. Deep fried. You go a little brazy on the deep fried portion. Bro, so, that's really bland. Yeah. For, like, for there's not really any good or bad flavors. But I feel like a five has flavor. To me, like average food has like you know, flavor. Yeah. To me, this has to be like a one. A one. All right. Well, but it's hard yeah, though, that's because, so far. But the thing is, like, in the previous videos, I gave a one to something that like truly disgusted me. Mm -hmm. To me, this is a one because it literally doesn't taste like. There's literally no taste. Mm. Would you rather watch a big game, like let's say the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and the Giants are there, right? Would you rather watch it at home with all your foods, a big screen TV, all the snacks, your friends cheering you on? Or be in the stadium, but be in the nosebleed seats. And your friends could be there too, but maybe a couple of them, because it's still expensive. Ah, uh, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I actually told myself if they ever make it to the Super Bowl again, I want to go. To, I want to be in New York and watch mm -hmm. it in the city. But you could watch it in the city in your own apartment. Oh, I, I don't have a home in New York, so. Dude, honestly, I, I feel like you got, going to the Super Bowl is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. You got it, especially for your own team. Yeah. Some people never see their team make it to the Super Bowl, so I would do that. Okay, yeah, I agree with you on that one, definitely. Last one, the cheese wonton. I don't think you've ever tried this, but I actually absolutely love this um, dessert. It's a fried uh, batter, it has like um, some type of fire cheese in it. I love it. I mean, I actually like this thing. Mm -hmm. See, it's growing on you, huh? I'm telling you, the crunch, it feels fresh, even better. Bro, I almost wish there was like an ice cream wonton. That sounds delicious. Let me give it like a four. A four. I, I actually love this. This is one of my favorite dishes. So even though it's not fresh, I'm gonna give this like a seven or eight. I actually really like that. But yeah, that wraps it up. James, I just need a top one today. All right, I'm gonna go probably with the pepper chicken and uh, the basic chicken. Wow. Wow. Uh, what would you overall rate Panda today? Like, I'm gonna give Panda a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10. That's not bad average. I say it's, it's 7.5 out of 10, I agree. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you guys. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps out the hit video. Hit that thing. Hit that thing. We are on the road still to 100,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Go check out, make sure you check out James's channel. His link will be in the description down below. And until next time, you guys, peace. peace.